Hi guys, it's Mel and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be sharing with you what's in our i129f Petition for Alien Fiancé packet. So if you're new to my channel, I'd just like to give you a quick background about my K-1 journey. So last January 2024, I was approved for a K-1 visa and three weeks after that, I flew to the US and I've been here for six months already. So, and just a little over a month ago, my adjustment of status got approved, so I am now a permanent resident here in the U.S. So I think this is just the best time to share with you what documents we submitted in our I-129F packet and just to pay it forward. So if you are planning to file for the I-129F petition, please keep on watching. So let's start with the documents from the petitioner. So first, he needs to submit the original copy of his birth certificate and then a copy of his personal page of his passport, the passport bio page. And next, we also submitted the narration of our love story. So it was just a two-page narration of our love story about how we met, and the places we've been to. And then we also submitted a copy of a utility bill that's under his name and indicating his current address. And then we also submitted a proof of his financial capacity. So under this, we submitted a copy of his certificate of employment. And then we also submitted a three years worth of irs form 1040 the u.s individual income tax and the w-2 so if you are filing in 2024 so you need to submit w-2s and irs form 1040 from the year 2022 no 2021 2022 and 2023 so three years worth and then assets and resources. So under under this, we submitted the most recent savings and current accounts under his name. And we also submitted annuities, documents about stocks and bonds, his retirement and educational accounts. We also submitted proof of assets like most recent appraisal report of that asset and the most recent mortgage or line or financing report. So next, we also submitted four copies of U.S. passport photo. It should be unaltered and it should have a white background. And we also submitted notarized intent to marry. And then copies of earning statements or pay stubs for the last three months so those are the requirements from the petitioner now these are the documents from the beneficiary so the beneficiary should provide these documents so first a copy of the birth certificate so if you're from the philippines it should be from the psa certified copy and then a copy of the personal page of the passport or the passport bio page, copy of any utility bill that's under my name and indicating my current address, and then documents about my assets and resources, so most recent savings and current accounts that's under my name. Next is documents about my annuities, stocks and bonds, retirement and educational accounts, proof of assets, like um, the most recent appraisal report of the asset and the most recent mortgage and line and financing report. And we also submitted four copies of US passport photo, three copies of originally notarized affidavit and intent to marry. Three copies, each of originally notarized affidavit form of two witnesses who can attest that me and my petitioner had met in person. So in my case, so, uh, when my fiancé visited the Philippines, so two of my 
family members and friends submitted the affidavit. Then proof of personal meeting. So this is very important that uh, we need to prove to the USCIS that we met in person. So what's in this, what's inside the proof of personal meeting documents? So we provided a collage with our photos. We also included photos with friends, family, and relatives. For each of the photos, we provide captions that has dates, names of places, and people. So we also provided copies of plane tickets, itinerary or hotel accommodations, copies of passport pages with arrival and departure date stamps. So we also provided proof of legitimate and continuous relationship relationships so since me and my fiance were in a long distance relationship for quite a while so we provided screenshots of our exchange of messages like emails um facebook chats so we provided at least 10 screenshots every month so it included dates and time and yeah that's it and then we also provided money orders, phone bills showing regular calls between the petitioner and the beneficiary. Then copies of cards, letters, and special gifts. So in our case, since me and Ken would give each other presents during holidays, so what I did was that um, I took pictures of them and then for the cards, I scanned them and included them in the collage that was submitted. And then copies of money transfers. So those are the documents that we submitted for our I-129F Petition for Alien Fiancé Packet. So if you have any questions about anything about I-129F filing, please don't hesitate to leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. So I hope you learned something and I hope this video is of help, especially if you're planning to file for I-129F petition. And all the best and thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys on my next one. God bless.